and it was in a silver case that had a little spiral tube. And she, it was on a chain, and she hung it up high on a nail between the two beds. And the, me the message to us was, do not touch this thermometer. Uh, and when you say do not, that means do. <laughs> so Bill and I just sort of made out, well, let's get that. No, let's go. Let's, let's go, let's go. Anyway, we climbed up there, and we got it. And we were looking at it, and it looked so pretty, this little red thing in there. And we could say, or silver, I guess, the mercury, and, um, didn't have red in it. And, and first thing you know, we were arguing over who was going to get to hold it and look at it, and we dropped it. And the sucker just snapped in two. So what do you do? You just pretend nothing happened, and you put it back in the case. And you put the lid on it, and you hang it back yeah, up right, that. Right. True. Well, that's probably a good plan, though. What happened to the case? So, so for somehow or another, didn't take mother long to figure this out. I don't know. Who told? Bill kept saying, we better tell him. I said, no, we better not. We, yeah, we better tell him. No, we better not. So somehow or another, Mama found out about it. Did she squeal? Anyway, she came out there, and we were in the backyard, and she was going to whip us. And, of course, Bill, being the noble man, and he stood yeah. there and took his like he should. Well, then when it was my turn, Mickey was down at the haystack down by the barn, and, and mother was mother was thanking me whether she had a switch. That was the going thing. And, and she, would, she, would, she would switch my legs, and I'd sit down. And she'd pull me up and switch me again. I'd say, Mommy, don't, I love you, I love you, Mommy, don't. And Mickey was down there laughing at me. <laughs> and he said he was counting the times I sat down. I don't know. But anyway, I got my punishment. Well, what about, the, I want you to finish the, the tail story. The tape. That was it. Hey, you know, hey, I had a oh, question. Oh, I, I heard the dog dug it up. Well, might have. I don't know. Hey, uh, uh, I didn't keep up with the dog. Who was it that took, did you, were you the one that Bill took the ice cream and said uh, he had a baby oh, one? And, and no, that was J.C. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and you. Zella. Yeah. Zella and J.C. He said, sister, sister, I'll trade you this little bitty cone for that great yeah. old big Isn't that cone. cute? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty and she traded it. <laughs> Jenny, what? tell them about the time I saved your life when we'd go over to Taylor's and Woo! pick the peas and go oh, yeah, swimming and all that, and you glad. were just going oh, under yes. and under, and I had to. And Taylor's time, I went, and Taylor's we had a time. pea patch, and we had to pick the dried peas, uh, and and we all had toe sacks to pick them in, and it was very hot. And and I had, we didn't have blue jeans, or Bill always got mad when I wore his overalls. Uh, so I had on a white cotton dress that was so thick it was it was like what it was it was thicker than outing it was just really Fe thick. feet sack it dress. was like linen no 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 it was it was thicker yeah um, uh, anyway. denim yeah denim but except it was a soft cotton anyway it was white we went on we decided it was too hot to, to pick peas so we decided to go swim in Taylor's tank for a while well this was what, about a half a yard, a half a mile away or something. And we got in there, all, all how many? T-Dart, you and... Men. I don't know whether Mick was with us that time or not. I know. Uh, it was no. me and you and Frank, I guess. Uh, was Bill not there? Were you there, Bill? No, I can't remember. I don't okay. think I was. But anyway, we were, we were swimming. <laughs> were we playing Let me take care. We were just uh, playing in the water. And, and uh, I decided that I would... Uh, T-Dart was out in the middle, and I wanted to go out there, and, and um, you know, every, everybody was having so much fun. Then when I was walking out there, I, I stepped in a hole, and we had always been calling, help, I'm drowning, and all this silly stuff, you know. <coughs> well, then when I got out there, and I stepped in the hole, and I went under, and I, <laughs> it came up. And then uh, T-Dart was standing there on the cat on the, on the bank, was watching me. Well, I went under again, <laughs> And finally, she decided that I really was not acting. So she weighs out there and gets me by the hair of the head and pulls me in. I had to tempt on myself though because it was, yeah. you know, in the middle it kind of was kind of deep. Yeah. Anyway, we'd always pick those peas in until our clothes got dry. Yeah. <laughs> but we got lazy and we'd pull vines and all. And stick them, them in that sack. <laughs> but then yeah, we got go so we either. got so scared because of the whole incident. Mm, I mean, that was we, we never, we never, 
swam yes, anymore Lord. when we weren't supposed to. <laughs> yes. And that's the end of my is that, is that when y'all named John? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. No, we was in the tomato patch. That, no, it was Helen. Helen it was, was the Helen one we named we, in the tomato patch. Rusty she rusty almost rusty was Florence. Rusty. Oh, yeah. Bell wanted to hang her uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I named her after oh, Helen Belleville. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know what the choice was named after, so that was somebody else's choice. So. Well, I thought you wanted to name her Florence. No. No, I, I never like knew anybody named Florence. 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 That Aunt Dora almost didn't make it to the hospital. Who was that? No, no, that she was John. Didn't. No, that was with Bill. Yeah, that was born John on. John was born. I was born on 13th step. Helen was born at home. <laughs> Bill was on the step at the hospital. Yeah. yeah. When Helen was born, the I. Uh, she was born at home. Yeah. Yeah, and Bill uh, John was too. But, but uh, I, I, Daddy. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy it, sent us over to Miss Taylor's to call the doctor. No, Daddy went over there to borrow his car because, and then he slid and, in the ditch. And then he slid in the ditch oh, because it was a cold much. February yeah. night. Oh my goodness! That was when Ellen was born. Yeah. I remember that well. Yeah, Daddy went in go. there and said, "Get up, get up, and get that hot water on." <laughs> <laughs> I had to go get he was scared. You could tell it by his voice. Merle? Daddy was scared too. Uh, yeah, I ran all the way to Carl to get Merle to come oh, up. Oh, Merle! I thought you said Merle, and I thought mm -hmm. Merle Davis. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. think. Uh, now, yeah, that Mark would have been some. <laughs> but, but Bill and I were in the front bedroom, and we were looking over the, the bed, and every time the door would open, we'd look in there and see what was happening, because they had the, the bed set up in the living room right there. Yeah, in the front room. Yeah. It was probably warm or something. Just like the little house in the prairie, huh? <laughs> yeah. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay, well, you want to tell us uh, any of your uh, other uh, highlights other than that? Uh, what's your most memorable... Uh, uh, accomplishment. <laughs> oh, got the Is this your first list? Chase down the, the street of, of a tomato tom tom that, by hand person. He <laughs> <laughs> got beer poured yeah, all that's over that's him. That's all right. I'm not okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Fran uh, Francis, get back there. You got uh, Francis. Get back up there. You got two more. I forgot three of these people. Oh, Francis. Who did you forget? Fun of me, yeah. Tell you that. I'm sorry, I'll have to put y'all through some more misery. Oh. <laughs> she reminded me of Jerry Van Dyke, but what's the guy's name? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jerry Van Dyke this or Dick Van Dyke? This Jerry. Jerry's okay. brother, yeah. Okay, Francis got the floor again. This frequent flyer has been in the air more than most of us, and she is also a frequent driver, driver and she's the only left handed sister. Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> Did you leave me out there? Oh! Know it. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> He served his country in Southeast Asia twice, and he did it in a sailor suit. Now, who is that? Well, John. 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 <laughs> Here's the last he don't, he don't yeah. one. And, that. Got that one. and he got <laughs> sent home by the Secretary of the Navy. Thanks <laughs> to Jenny. Thanks to Jenny. <laughs> it, it pays to, it it pays to persevere, doesn't it? They sent him over there twice. Yeah. I tell that story and people just their mouth falls on them. They can't believe it that that really happened. Okay, here's I the said last believe one. it. John yeah. believed it, didn't you, John? Yeah. <laughs> she yeah, got mad because because they they kicked him off of the ship and he had to stand there in the rain for for two hours and he got soaked all everything in his duffel bag got soaked and his, everything in his wallet got soaked and he didn't know who did this to him and boy wait till I find out I'll get him. And it was you, and it was me. They, uh, As he got you, yeah. Okay, you got you got another one, Francis. I got one more. Okay, she's see. the sweetest of all the girls. I should know because I recently spent nearly 80 hours in her presence, in her home, and in her car, and we got along splendidly. And she's the only left-handed sister-in-law. That makes it really young. <laughs> yeah. You ought to go to work for the Houston Enterprise. Okay, let's see. Who's who's next? Uh, John, no, John. John, no, no, the the, uh, the engineer here does not. That's good, Fred. Yeah, you have. That's good, Francis. Okay. Francis, yeah. 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 No, it was John Rustin. Doesn't like you calling her. John Rustin, get up on the hot seat. 
Oh, he did one. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, that you weren't being you, terrible. You, 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 were, <laughs> you were a supporting actor in those. Did I ever think that? Public? No, I don't care. I didn't think you care. I don't care. Dot, start thinking of some lies. You're going to be you next. You don't like being called Frank. And just tell her. She won't call you Frank anymore. Why can't we be just... Well, you know, that's not... Being, Dot, start thinking up some lies. You're going to be next. Well, I know you never said that, but I can't. No, they're not. They're not. They're not. Yeah, they are. No. Yeah, they're going to get everybody with it. No. Oh, my God. That's not right. Oh, John. 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 Did you know uh, Garden Nelson took me to task for calling his mother Nelson? Really? I said, hey, I call her Nelson. I'm not, I don't mean anything disrespectful. Did he really? He did. He took me to task about that. And so when I'm around her, I don't call her anything. Of course, I'm not around her anymore, but he did. He took me to task about that. <laughs> okay, John, get over here. We want some good ones from you. Okay, what's uh, what, what's the most uh, major accomplishment in your life? I would say uh, the major accomplishment in my life was not killing Mickey one night in the state bank. <laughs> See, we both wanted to kill him. <laughs> would you explain yourself, please? Well, the bank, being a bank, has to do business in the daytime, so we had to work at night. And we were hanging light fixtures fluorescent light fixtures, which are heavy, and you had to work over the desk and the teller's desk and stuff. And it was late, it was like one o'clock in the morning, Mickey was tired, I was tired. He has a, as you well know, Mickey is, is uh, what's the euphemism I want to use here? Careful. He's got daddy's jeans. <laughs> and, uh, That's called yeah. short fuse. Short fuse, he's got a yeah. short fuse. And he's, uh, Anyway, it was, we didn't, uh, it, I wasn't doing what he thought I should be doing, and he wasn't doing what I thought he should be doing, and we weren't communicating, and, and so finally we just, just chunked it and went home. And I uh, see, what else was almost. Well, oh, yeah, did I ever tell you the story about you when Bill did the, what was that place in Luling you did for the, for the ex-preacher? Lexington. The ex preacher. The ex preacher. Why would he an ex preacher? Well, he didn't preach anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the guy, the restaurant, the restaurant. Oh, okay, the restaurant. That was a redheaded preacher, Lockhart. But that was that was a restaurant we did in Austin. What, was it in Austin? Yeah, we did did the uh, job in Austin. Okay, okay. Well, we would drive up there at night. And, <laughs> and Bill, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is the truth. Yeah. Bill would, he had four bald tires on his truck, <laughs> no spare, no jack. And no cell phone. And no cell phone and no <laughs> gas. I said, Bill, the thing is on empty. Don't you think, oh, we can make it another 20 miles. I oh. said, Bill, it's, I smell, we can make it another 20 miles. <laughs> Man, how we ever made it to the I have no idea. That's what Bill, <laughs> no, that's what you call dumb, dumb. Dumb. To go, all the way, to go all the way from Yoakum to Austin on no spare, little gas. And, and, and remember, uh, remember that woman mother you hang around with, uh, the, the fat woman in church. Oh, Roth. 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 Well, Mr. Roth worked for Bill for a while, and he told me this story. <laughs> I said, and they used to drive back and forth to Austin, and 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 what was his first name? Herman. 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 Herman told me one Herman time. Herman and Lottie Ray. He was Lottie Ray. Herman would tell me sometimes, well, yeah, Bill goes to sleep quite often at, at the wheel. Oh. I said, what do you do? He said, I just kind of reach over and hold the wheel like that till he wakes up. <laughs> like that and move on, see. You got a better I'm memory than that, too. And, and how did, how you were sleeping. Like, how could you remember it? It's really surprising you're here, Bill. <laughs> yeah. Very surprising he's here. And remember the hotel over in Gonzales? Oh, here's a better story. Remember the hospital that your father-in-law, you and, and Mr. Ed, what was the guy's name, Edwards? Bill Edwards. Bill Edwards. They did a hospital. Bill had to, Bill got the job, but Mr. Uh, Bill Edwards had to do the air conditioning. They, re, they, they had to re, they had to air condition the hospital, not re air conditioning, just the air conditioning. And Bill Edwards, he was, he was a, a cuss word every other breath. Who, Mr. Edwards? Mr. Edwards. Now, Bill got the electrical part of it. Edwards got the air conditioning part of it. And they were supposed to work together. 
Well, one of the, here's tell, he'll tell you a little story about how what kind of guy Mr. Uh, Bill Edwards was. He, he drove an old station wagon loaded down with junk. Well, he told me one time, and driving down the highway, caught fire. So what does he do? He gets out, he has a gas a can, a gasoline can in the back of his truck that had about a, less than a gallon of gas in it. He opens the hood, throws the gasoline on the fire, and so it would burn his car up. He figured he'd be better off. <laughs> this is the guy. And the nurse used to come to, and he had Mexicans working for him. And he would, and Mexicans couldn't understand a word of English, apparently. And, uh, and he, and they was up in the attic, and that was on, that was a third floor hospital when we had three stories or two stories. Yeah, they three. Did. three. They were up in the attic, and he would be up there cussing those Mexicans. And that woman that used to be the head, whatever she Miss was, Fox. Miss Fox, Lydia Fox. She'd go, Bill, we can't have that. Those people are so loud, they're cussing, and we got patients in this hospital. And telling Bill Edwards, of course, that was like telling them. I mean, he would just, he would just, you could, you could not believe the guy how how disorganized he was. And apparently, uh, they got through the job without with Bill. I mean, I guess he's still. Did fit right in on TV, huh? He went bankrupt. Well, then, he went bankrupt, but I, man, he was something. He went, he went bankrupt, and then turned around and bought his stuff back the next day, <laughs> and bank financed it for him. And then, the, and then the Lexington <laughs> Motel. That was yeah. another. Oh yeah, that, that's a good we job. Had, we had the motel all finished. That's when I went to the uh, military camp up here at Fort Hood oh, yeah, and left you to finish it. <laughs> Here's the deal: we had the thing pretty well finished, except we didn't have any. There wasn't any main wires going to the place, <laughs> and that was buried underground. We had this big old pipe, and we had to get this great big old wire thing. See, so no one built the the eternal. Oh yeah, well, we take care of that when it gets power. We, no problem. We take care of that. No problem. And they ended up tying the wire onto the back of the truck and pulling it through there with the truck. You're supposed to be able to <laughs> put a fish tape through there, tie the wire on it, and soap it up, make it slick, and kind of push it through there like that. One guy pulled it, one guy. It was so tight, Bill had to tie a chain onto the wire and put it through there. But And then what was the guy's name that we did it for? Uh, that, Hagen. Huh? Booster, Hagen. Booster Hagen. Yeah, Not Booster, Booster, but uh, uh, <laughs> what, the rich guy over there. Yeah, he was, like, he was doing this for but that's what? not Bill. He puts everything off to the last It's minute. still there. Yeah. The whole family is like that. Oh, wait a minute. Except. Except. No, it's not there. Hey, tell about, Probably the, time. Ellen, I don't know. Tell about no. the time that you touched the stove and then touched the stainless steel sink. And, and got shot. Oh, I'll tell you a better one than that. I was, we were, it was over there by the high school, and Bill always had the worst wore out equipment known to man. <laughs> OSHA would. Lock him up. <laughs> he had this old drill that he inherited from Daddy. It was so that was that old drill that Daddy used to go to these houses and with these old wooden beaded ceilings and put put wiring in there. Well, he had a big old hole saw about like that, and the in the in the and where you put it into the bed was about that big around, a, a, about a half inch big. But the drill was with a real powerful geared down thing. So you get on a ladder and you're up there holding the drill overhead with a four inch hole saw, and when that thing grabs in that wood. It's electric. The drill is electric, yeah. And when it grabs that wood, it's just going to keep going, and you're going to keep going with it if you don't let it loose. Of course, the problem is it's got two pipes, and you're holding it like that. If you let go, it's going to knock you in the head. If you don't let go, it's going to wrap you around. Them. See, so what do you do? You holler for Bill. Well, one day we were under, Bill always sent me, Daddy did, and so did, I didn't work for Mickey that much. The head probably sent me under the house anyway. The worst place you can go is underneath the house. Yeah. So we were under, Bill sent me underneath the house the with this old raggedy drill, probably wet under there, I don't know. It was with the extension cord, and in, in those days they just had a two-pronged extension cord. So you could plug it in that way, or you could flip it over and plug it in that way, and the drills weren't polarized or anything. Anyway, I was up there drilling and it started shocking. Not, not, it was just 110. Yeah. No, but <laughs> electricity being like it is, it, it plants. Yeah. I'll tell you the rest of that. And I was laughing so hard I couldn't do anything. And I was here hollering, <laughs> fixing, you know, fix, fix Unplug the, him. fixing the glo go to glory. And what does Bill do? And I, I come out of there shaking like a leaf. He said, well, let me know when you get ready to go back up there. I said, I ain't going back under there. <laughs> Not today, I ain't. Man, you talk about, you talk about sympathy. <laughs> Well, well, I'll tell you what, we used to argue till about noon, oh. and then, then we'd start working on the job. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we'd work, work Bill, it. Bill, I'll argue. tell you, he hired some, he, he did hire a few losers. What was the guy <laughs> that wore the women's panties? To? Lynn Pearman. <laughs> Lynn Pearman. 
He was highly recommended. <laughs> yeah, he was a Boy Scout leader. <laughs> but work, did he work with Boy Scouts? No, I don't know if he did. He's doing a straight nap, John. Did he really? And he's doing all that. I don't think he was dangerous. He was just odd. He, he liked to get straight. wet with women's <laughs> lingerie on. Yeah, well, Bill sent him out to do a trailer house. Did you know his son is an officer of the law now? Don't worry. He knows what to look for, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was Lynn no, Pierman. Yeah, Lynn Pierman. He would uh, never recognize it, probably. I can't remember that. Well, uh, Herman boys, uh, no, uh, he has two brothers. Uh, I can't remember. Pete Carl or Pete? Yeah, Pete. Pete was, was good. Pete was good. Yes, uh, yeah, Pete was. Uh, well, remember, remember when y'all lived over there? That's, that, that's when y'all lived over there next to. Mr. Cosby and his, and his alcoholic wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we were moving. Wilson Squires was his landlord. Was he? Yeah. Anyway, we, so we I, moved I, there. They were joking. They moved there. And Mott was, was the landlord then. Well, thank you. Yeah. But whatever. She died, didn't she? Who? Mrs. Cosby. Yeah. 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 Through the refrigerator on the truck, and that's one of those, those streets that has a real high curves. It's the street is about three foot, two foot from the from the uh, from the lawn down. So when you back down the driveway, still on yet. So anyway, we see. Oh no, we don't need to strap it down. We're just going across the street. The refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So we're backing down. Boom, boom, boom. Here it hits the street. Remember that, Bill? Oh my God. <laughs> no, no. <I> don't. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Pete talking about, but we ought to strap that down, maybe we'd be safe. But if we, they weren't moving far. Well, Lynn Pierman, when they caught him, uh, Sonny Yaws uh, uh, came over and, and uh, talked Liz into letting Liz talk Lynn in the bar in his car, and she took it over to Sonny's house so he could search the trunk. No, Sonny came over. Uh, anyway, the Sonny had uh, he he had, he had left the he had left that car over at our house, you know, when we went to went on the job, and while Sonny was well, who is well, this that left the? Well, he that's where he got his jollies, you know. He had, oh. um, he had uh, he'd go get in the bathtub with the women's clothes on, and he had taken uh, he he had stolen the uh, a wedding dress out of this trailer that we were rewiring. Did he, did, did he steal the? So yeah, he, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, a Wait, ring. And they found the ring in the pawn shop, and they found the wet gown in the back of his trunk, and that's what Sonny found. And and uh, Liz talked him into leaving his car at the house and and, and the key, and that allowed Sonny to search the trunk without his uh, that way consent. Anyway, we went. To, that's when we went to see him at the jail. And uh, uh, one of our, I guess it's Bill. Yeah. Filming this. When, when, when Bill was. Um, Change places, Bill. We'll get the the hey, let's take the. Oh, uh, wait a minute. We got somebody else. No, that's Doc. Oh, no, it's Doc, no, next. Doc. Okay, here. But you're uh, the last of the. Let the. Uh, yeah, Jenny, Jenny run the show here. Or Gay, run the show. Gay, you're better. Oh, come on. You're, I'm, I don't I got thought you got a degree in. Oh, here, here, here's, here's, here's the oh, zoom land right here. Steady. Steady. Just watch yeah, it here. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is the zoom button there. And you got, well, let's focus, focus on Jones. See? Okay. Then how will it move back out? Back, hit, hit back over here on the, on the left. Don't hit the red button. But see, this tells you it's recording right here. Right here. Oh, oh Stevens? Yeah. yeah they are. See, there's so many of them. One's in the True Valley, and one's a plumber, and one's a plumber, and one's a plumber, and one's a good photograph. <laughs> nursing home, and I don't know. Okay. Let's get him in the hot seat. Okay. What does you look Stevens. like, Granddaddy? Yeah. Bill's yeah. only nine rice picking one of the bunch in here. He looks like Granddaddy <laughs> only. I think I'm a spitting image of Uncle Morris. Yeah. You are. You are. are. I, I laugh you, like you, him, talk like him. You are like Uncle wife. Morris too, but you still like mm -hmm. Granddaddy. But well, Uncle Morris is yeah. like Granddaddy. Yeah. No, sure. no. You don't drink what I were doing. No, well, I, I, I have not taken up drinking. I don't think I need to. But. <laughs> okay. A little drink is supposed to be good for you. Yeah. 
Well, be sure you have a little drink. <laughs> I want you to know that I'm the greatest lover in the family. Oh, okay. I know that. Yeah. Yeah. That can't, that, the lady came there walking by. See, that's unverifiable. You cannot yes, say it's unverifiable. Yes, I can, because you ain't gonna I, was, it by me. I have been jilted <laughs> by more women than most people really realize. <laughs> in Alabama, San Marcos, uh, Yoko, Kukri, and Yoko. Oh, and so man forth. remembers this. But so anyway, uh, they called you great. I, while I was... <laughs> I stayed in the depression stage. I stayed. I stayed in the depression stage about a week, and I, I was. I was a regular of the Austin Flight Club, and uh, the manager had bounced a check on me, and I didn't think it was my fault. She was working the Austin State Bank. Anyway, I. I uh, that was about building out for your mother. Her. I chewed her. I, I chewed her out nicely in the letter to the bank, and she in, in turn straightened it out. When I went to the bank. She said, my name is Rice, too. And I said, I said, I don't care what your name is. I'm going to get my account straightened out. So she did. And, and Lou Maisel, who is a, was my roommate at the, at the hotel, the motel in the Corn City where we were surveying from, uh, he said, I bet you can't get a date with her. And I said, I bet I can. I have there's no girl I yet have met that I could get a date with. Would you like to go out tonight? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm at this weekend, and she said, she said yeah, no, no, I wrote you. her a letter, and she wrote me a letter back and said, uh, said uh, yes, but you're not supposed to write me letters. And so I wrote her a letter and said, now that you know how much money I have in the bank, let's go spend it. <laughs> so Friday, I forgot oh, $32. So anyway, so I wrote, I wrote, I wrote uh, uh, to, uh, I was smoking my car on Friday, and I said, I'm too tired. I'm not going to, I don't want to drive all the way to Austin to, to uh, go out. So she said, well, that's okay. She said, I'll, I'll go home to my, to go home this weekend. She was staying at the Y in uh, YWCA, I hope, wasn't it, or Y. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she, so she told me, she said she would be going home to Gonzales. And I said, oh, that's close to you. So I said, we'll decide to go out with her anyway. And so I uh, picked her up, and she I didn't know much about Please. her, anything about her. She walked across the street, um, across the lawn of the hospital. And I said, she's the one. Anyway, so uh, she, we, I said, where do you want to go? And she said, uh, to the altar? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, and that's I right. Said, well, they're having a revival at the Austin Street Church. I said, let's go there. We'll have some fun. Come on. So um, I introduced her as Elizabeth Rice. And, Daddy fell in love with her because of her name only. And oh, I, I called sure? I oh, no. a lot of emotion there. And on the way back, when we got ready to go back, we did a, a fair share of solution. I was not the real I really want the gory man. detail. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I, we sat in the in the little porta shape part of the hospital there. She was spending the night with her, her uh, nursing friends. And, uh, Surely I, there's some I better said, things uh, that have happened to you in your I, life. I, I, said, <laughs> I said, uh, will you marry me? And she hesitated, and I said, will you marry me? And she hesitated. Why don't you, said, you say it you like you said it? Will you? Uh, yeah, yeah like right. Will you, oh, will you, will you, will you, will okay. you? I want you to shut up, shut up, shut up. And she <laughs> said, so you yes. Say yes, yes, yes? She said I yes. Did. The next day I picked I her up and I took her back to, to Austin, and I said, when? I said, when first when? weekend in September. She said, no, that's my birthday. Okay, the next weekend. And so we planned it for the next, the second weekend. And we got to Brother McDonald's, and he said, do you kids know that this is Friday the 13th? Oh. And I said, I'm not superstitious. I said, let's go on with the wedding. Well, of course, <laughs> we did have some bad luck, because the ring that she had resized for me, uh, the jeweler had resized my ring to fit her, and her ring was not was left alone. Anyway, we had we went to uh, like after we got married. I bet uh, you remember. Uh, sure. What's the name? <laughs> Donnelly was a best man, a best woman, and, uh, <laughs> and we stayed at Bill Williams that night for our honeymoon. <coughs> and we got uh, <coughs> Clark gave us a silver <laughs> dollar, and I left it there. And uh, the next morning we got up, and I uh, and I wrote a letter to mom and daddy, and I said, Liz and I were married last night. See you when we get back. You didn't tell the best part. Oh, I didn't I like that. I thought it was that girl. I didn't want to get it in the end of my talk. I didn't want to get it the end of my talk. I didn't want to get it in the end of my talk. I didn't know that I wanted to be married. Why? Yes. I wasn't sure I wanted to be married. I wrote a letter to her mother and said, 
said uh, Bill and I were married and so forth, and we went to the big city of Newton, Texas. And Where is that? That's uh, up on East the Texas, other side. You know Jasper, uh, Jasper, 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 up in that way. Anyway. Big uh, and Raven. Strangely enough, uh, I think I made a, a good choice, the best choice, an everlasting choice. We have not, uh, we've got five kids to prove that we have a you good relationship. Yeah. That, uh, that don't prove it. That. <laughs> that just means some lustful moments. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Y'all can ask me a question if you want. Lust, lustful moments, I said. I want to ask Liz a question. Oh, Liz, is all that the truth? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, he went, he went, I'll tell you uh, what, she, she you. does not lie, and that's one of her worst attributes, see. <laughs> not lie. Not even any tactful lies. Not she even any tactful lies. Up to the truth. Uh, no, I don't ever know a white lie. I don't, I don't, I don't even tell white lies on that. I haven't decided what a white lie is yet. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I think it's the opposite of a white lie. It's the opposite of a white lie. Huh? A, a black one is the opposite of a horse. Oh, okay. Any gray ones? Okay, uh, that, that's it. Uh, well, we you don't have any stories the about these horses that, that you rode. <laughs> hey, Bill. Uh -huh. You don't have any stories about these horses that you rode. Of course, Johnny's already told off on you so much now that we already know all about your. Me and Bill spent a lot of time together for for about four years, didn't we, Bill? Yeah, we. Uh, John, uh, yeah, John owes most of his experience and knowledge to me. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you owe him? I didn't that you teach didn't him pay about him. the birds and bees. He told me. <laughs> <laughs> I caught you smoking one to time in the garage, and I said, "If you're man enough to smoke in the garage, you'll be man enough to smoke at my mama's." So, yeah. and I, I think that, that put a stop that, to that smoking. That, that, that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That. Uh, I remember when Mickey was home from. I guess you were out of service. Oh. You were a smoker. And you wanted a cigarette so bad, and we didn't have, you didn't have any transportation to town, and you wanted a cigarette. And that's when I was collecting cigarettes from everybody that I dated. I that was <laughs> what I collected and put it in there. And I sold you a, a one cigarette that I had in my scrapbook, placed in the scrapbook that had been there for a year or something, way, I, and I sold it to him, one cigarette for a dollar. I want this to go on record. There, I, I, I have a confession to make. <laughs> when Mickey was home, I got most of my spending money from his pockets. <laughs> what, you swipe me? I don't know if he kept any He's counting, but if you let me know what the bill is, I'll be glad to pay. <laughs> we'll pay you <laughs> Okay, honey. Well, I, uh, of course, uh, what we don't mention, John? Well, okay, okay. Uh, sorry. Dot. I don't have anything to say. Oh, well, I'll bet you do. Well, how in the world did you get in this crazy family? Uncle very, Harley, very you really hard. want to know? Is Uncle that, is that, Harley, is that going to be a horror story? Is it going to be? <laughs> Continue. Uh, how I, I got get, in this huh? crazy family? I get tired was, trying to. Was a okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough holding it. I don't know how you prop it well. and keep it still. <laughs> yeah. Kind of have to. Oh, there's a little gizmo right wait, here. Wait, 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 Bill. Wait. Hurry up and start taking well, notes. She's talking. Yeah, there's, Hold on. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Doc. Okay. This is okay. this is uh, Dorothy Harriman Rice. Speak up, lady. <laughs> and she asked me how I got acquainted with me. Uncle Harley lived in Quero, where I grew up, and he was a member of the same church that I was. And so some girlfriends and I had gone to the Baptist encampment in, at Palacios for the weekend, and because they were having an encampment down there, and Uncle Harley was to come and get us. But instead, he sent Mickey to get us. And I had not, I had never met him, but he said that he had met me because at one time, uh, between jobs, I was a cashier at the Piggly Wiggly in Quero. And he came by there and bought the cigarettes. Cigarettes. Cigarettes mm -hmm. I, 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 <laughs> I sold him cigarettes, and so he got to look me over. He said, oh, You'd sell cigarettes, but not beer. I wouldn't sell beer. Uh, no, I wouldn't sell beer. I thought Uncle Hardy fixed that deal up. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Yeah, Uncle Hardy. He, he did in there. But, but Mickey also, uh, well, the first time I, I saw you was when I, I was, at, I worked for an abstract company, and 
there was a Baptist court trial going on and to find out who owned the church because the Baptist the pastor had he ran off with the church secretary. And anyway, I was um, with the group that, that happens everywhere. But anyway, I was with the group that had left the church. <coughs> Place, John. And anyway, so there was a lawsuit over who owned the building and so forth. And so I dashed from work up to the courthouse to find out what the verdict was. And there was Mickey with his mom and dad listening to the um, the trial and everything. I never so heard that was over, over with. Well, uh, they yeah, attempted to introduce him to him, you and, mom, and he said, I already you and daddy know. You and daddy and mother listened to the trial. Yeah. What trial was that? For the verdict. Yeah. Oh. For the verdict. Well, and I didn't he know that. But then after, after well, he picked us up in the flashes, then he well, later he asked to that. Let me ask you this, uh, Dorothy. Can you remember the exact words when he proposed to you? Goodness gracious, no. <laughs> Can you, Mickey? He didn't 